Hi, today we're going to be drawing a cartoonogram called the Slimy Coil Snake. Uh, you will see a slippery little character come out of this drawing and it is featured in my book Anyone Can Draw Cartoonograms. This book not only teaches you how to draw cartoonograms but it also helps to support the Tomorrow Fund for Children with Cancer. So please join me with the Slimy Coil Snake. Okay, let's go ahead and draw the Slimy Coil Snake. I hit S L I M Y, that is a lowercase letter I, C O I L S. I like to use lowercase letter I, letters I. I like to use lowercase letters I because the dot comes in handy. All right, here we go. We will begin in the upper right part of your paper. We're holding it skyscraper. Good call. That's tall. We will start with a letter O with a backwards letter C coming out of it. Beginning of the snake's eye and its nose. Here we go. Backwards C and two thick C's. Thick C here and a thick C there. Those C's being thick make the eyes look like they're shining. If you complete your drawing and think your snake looks kind of sleepy, uh, you can just thicken up those C's and it'll wake up for you. At the end of this C, a small backward C that helps the snake smile. And above the eyes of the snake, I have one and I have two sopracci, the eyebrows of the snake. Hanging down, upside down from the snake's nose, what looks like a W, but it's actually an upside down letter M. And from between the two teeth that you just drew, a letter Y. Why not? The snake's tongue. Upside down letter I and upside down letter I, the nostrils of this snake. And a C that starts halfway between the top and bottom of that tooth and gets close to, but doesn't quite touch, the eye of the snake. Now we've come to the letter that most makes us think of a snake. Let me cross off the letters that I've used here. I got think about everything so far. I have. Here comes an S. Start here. A, an S that is big at the top, small at the bottom. Second S. We could start there. It would look pretty good if you did. But it'll look better if you start down here a little and put the snake's head a little bit in front of its body to create a 3D effect. Now we find out what kind of snake we've got here. Three letters O. If you can give me an O. One, two, three. A little snowman of O's. It is a rattlesnake. Some people call this a rattlesnake. Other people call it a rattlesnake. Rattle. Here comes a bunch of letters M, starting at the end of the snake's body, going up toward the head. They look like M's until they get about here. Then they start looking like W's. Don't worry about it. They'll look like M's again when they get to the top of the snake's body. These M's create a pattern, or more properly, a pattern on the rattlesnake. You've seen a pattern on the rattlesnake now. To make this snake animated like it's moving, we will now put two C's to the left and two backward C's to the right of the tail so it looks like it's shaking its tail. And finally, if you'd like your snake to look like a girl snake, a cute snake, you almost always have this option of three C's on each side of the snake's eyes to make it look more like a girl. The slimy coils rattlesnake. I like to think of it as a snake that might live in a swamp. It gets slimy, but it has to coil itself around a tree branch every so often to dry out and wait for uh, today's dinner and walk by. Thank you very much, and I hope you join me again soon.